All right, I'm gonna go see if I can get a bluefish that doesn't have sea lice all over it and do a bluefish catch and cook. Let's go. So yeah, I'm out here to do a bluefish catch and cook, but most of the day I actually you spent fluking and this was all I caught while was fluking fluke. was porgy and small blues. So I was planning on keeping blue, so I made sure I had a cooler and ice. So far alive. That was perfect eating size. So normally I'll catch blues by accident. Today was my mission to go out there and get them. And I was like, I'll wait till the end of the day because I want me to be fresh. And I just kept losing fish, especially with this Rapala, man. It's small treble hooks. Uh, they come out really easily, but they definitely trigger strikes. Popped open the cooler so I could swing this one right in and not let it hop out. This is a rookie move right here. fish need to be bled right away and they need to be put on ice. Lead them immediately and get them right on that ice. Ice. That'd be good. I mean, I was fluking most of the day, but Jesus, three. How many fish did I lose to? That's a lot. This is it. Somebody left this jig. I found it out here last year. Took all the other treble hooks off, but... I've caught a lot of fish with this jerk bait. Um, even a schoolie striper two nights before, but... Robins, everything hits it. I let this fish tire out. This is normally what I would do for bluefish. Uh, I couldn't tell it was a striped bass. Because uh, it was dark out, and also, by the way, he was fighting. Uh, he was shaking his head. He was, he was aggressive. Casa de Pete. I'm gonna fillet these up, I'm gonna do the blues first, marinate them, shower, and then eat them. A little quick rinse. Really gotta be iced down right away. And 
Lead. Leading bluefish makes a world of a difference. And they're one of the easiest fish to fillet. The first bluefish I filleted, I was in the fourth grade going on fifth. And I did it with a Swiss Army knife. Blue fillet number one. And then they're, they're really easy to fillet. It's, they come right off the bone. I didn't do a great job, but they're really pretty easy. Get the skin off, and I'm going to throw this one right in the fridge. You really want to keep these things as cold as possible all the time. These little guys, I'm going to try the milk marinade. I've heard about it, never done it. Let's see what happens. The little guy in milk, I'm going to cover that and throw them in the fridge. For a it's not the healthiest thing, but the best way to have bluefish taste good is butter. A lot of butter. Onion powder, garlic powder, a little paprika, uh, Italian seasoning. I'm gonna throw the melted butter on there and then cover it and put it in the fridge. I've had guys tell me, you can fillet a porgy? Yeah, you can fillet a porgy. I, mean, I think it's easier to fillet than a blue almost, but yeah, you can definitely fillet a porgy. And look, this thing was bled out and put right on ice. The meat is white, like perfectly white. Let's see what's doing. Veggies should be done. All right, so first up is the one that marinated in the milk. I've heard about that recipe a long time. Let's see if there's any truth behind it. It's not bad, it kind of might have taken that bluefishy taste away, if that makes any sense. It doesn't have that like pungent flavor that people you know, don't like bluefish for. Kind of good. It's not like fluke or it's, it's not crazy good, but milk. Okay. Now I'm eating the one that was sitting in the butter. And that's good. I don't know how anything can soak in butter and, and not be good. Uh, and these fish hold a lot of contaminants, but Besides that, they can be a really healthy fish. They're very oily, got a lot of benefits, minus the mercury and God knows what else they can hold. But man, let it sit in some butter. It's like a really good fish. Really good. I learned that a long time ago. Most important thing with bluefish is bleed them out right away and get them on ice as soon as possible. And you really want to do that with all your fish, but bluefish need to be bled and they need to be iced immediately. Last but not least is the lemon and herb. This is the one where you're, I'm really going to taste the flavor of the bluefish. So let's see if it's what I remember it was. It's not, let me try the porgy. It's like porgy's marinated the same way. Porgy is much more um, palatable, if that's a word. Like more people would eat the porgy. You know, it's not, you don't, it's not that fishy. It's just a white mint. The bluefish has a distinct flavor. And, and I've been eating this fish since I was in the fourth grade. I mean, not all the time, but in the summer, at least once a year I would do it. And I grew to like it. I don't do it often. This is the first time this year probably will be the last. It's not bad. It's not a fluke. It's not a corgi. It's not even a striper, but it's its own fish. and I'm eating it. It doesn't taste bad to me at all. It's important with bluefish. You don't want to eat those big gator blues. They're fun to catch. These little ones, these cocktails like I got, uh, those are the ones they don't have that crazy blue flavor that people despise, a lot of people despise. Mm.